Hearing protection. What? Yes. What do you wear on or in your ears? Well, listen up. Out of the three and a half thousand of you who responded to our lockdown kit survey in the spring, 435 completed the survey on hearing protection. It's something we have been pushing on Field Sports Channel, especially with Roy Lupton going so deaf. And you rightly pick us up when we show people shooting without hearing protection. So what do you, the Field Sports Channel viewers, wear? Well, there are a couple of clear winners. One of them is headphones, which are still significantly more popular than in-ear protection. They may make you look like Teletubbies when you are out shooting, but the great majority of shooters use cans these days. And there is a headphone make that is a long way ahead of the competition. More on that later. First, let's look at some of the areas where you praise your plugs. For comfort, you prefer Sens over all other manufacturers. The in-ear solution and maker of the popular ProFlex, which is the biggest selling in-ear hearing protection among Field Sports Channel viewers. How well does your hearing protection work? Here, the winner is the range from MSA Swordin. Hearing protection is expensive, so which company offers the best value for money, in the opinion of our viewers? They choose the orange crinkly earplugs from Sonic. And customer service for those who have had to send back their hearing protection and get them fixed. The winner is UK mail order company and distributor Napier, maker of the Pro 9 and Pro 10 headsets. Now the big winners. In the in-ear category, Sens dominates with 8% of the total market. Its biggest seller, the ProFlex, is, however, outsold by... In third place, the MSA Swordin Supreme Pro X. And in second place, the Honeywell Howard Light Impact Sport. First place, by several lengths, goes to the 3M Peltor Sport Tag. With 3M Peltor owning 36% of the entire Field Sports Channel viewer market, well done those Swedes.